Hello to all my beautiful subscribers, all the newcomers. This is Kathy from Divine Debut, and today is the 29th of December 2016. I did promise you all that I would come back, probably I've said, and that I would try to come back and give you some just additional information, you know, to finish up the year. As I said, today is the 29th. And it, we have the full moon, not the full moon, I'm sorry, the new moon. And it is in Capricorn. Now, as we speak, um, Uranus is about to go forward. And that is, wow, that is a big deal, right? Um, Uranus and Jupiter are both, are both at 20 degrees. So there is a lot happening here. We've also got um, Saturn and Chiron at 21 degrees, which is, um, they're doing a dance as well. Even though I'm not an astrologer, I like to follow astrology. So um, I do know that there are very strong energies there. Capricorn is still um, blessed, <laughs> should I say, with Pluto um, at 16 degrees. The moon um is right next to the sun. The moon is at nine degrees of Capricorn, right? And um, the sun is at eight degrees of Capricorn. So we're still at the beginning of Capricorn season. Um, okay, well, Mercury is retrograde and that's going to be existing and happening for another about one, one and a half weeks. So uh, you'll find, and I have found very strongly so that communication is very difficult at this time. Um, there is a lot of pressure from Mars, even though Mars is in Pisces and um, it wants to move forward fast but it's exalted in Pisces. It's not very strong there so I don't know about you people but I felt really like you know I wanted to push and push and things are just not happening. So. From what our astrologers, our beloved astrologers say, take your time. And especially Leo King, whom I follow very much so. I adore him. He's wonderful. So um, I do like to follow and see uh, his advice and what he, um, what he talks about. Anyway, um, the south node is at four degrees in Virgo. Um, Neptune is at nine degrees of Pisces. And Neptune is just giving us a really hard time. Um, there is confusion galore. Uh, a lot of haziness, a lot of confusion, everyone. Now, Venus is in Aquarius at 24 degrees. Right? And um, let's take advantage of Venus going forward but because it won't be too long before it will be starting its retrograde. Anyway, I'm looking forward to the retrograde to be finishing of um, the Mercury retrograde. Um, as I said, um, communication breakdown, uh, trouble moving forward with Mars being exalted like that. Um, just be patient and ride the wave, everyone. That's all I can say. Now, I do hope that uh, all our blessings come in at once with the new year 2017, which is just around the corner. In a couple of days. Um, today I'm going to be using the Witch's Tarot, which is a beautiful deck. I absolutely love it. And I will be pulling three cards for each sign because this is going to be a quick reading uh, on the new moon. Um, let's not forget to make our wish. Whatever we want to manifest, today is the day to make the wish. Now, this reading won't be up and running until late tonight. Um, and I'm sorry about the background noise. The fan is going. It's about 39 degrees here in Sydney. So do forgive me for that, but it's impossible to, um, to work without it. Um, okay, and I will be pulling some Sibylas as well, as I always do, just for a bit of clarity. Okay, and I do thank you all for being um, a part of my journey for 2016 and um, 
hope that I have been able to help all of you, uh, the people who are watching me, people who are following me. Um, I'd like to thank everyone from the bottom of my heart. I also hope that New Year's Eve is going to be a wonderful um, time for everyone. Hope that you all get the, um, you know, the uh, the completion or the manifestation, I should say, of your dreams coming true in the new year. I send you all my blessings and I thank you all. And let's go on to your reading. Hello, Libra. This is Kathy speaking from Divine Debut. I have to have you with me. Um, this is for the new moon. New moon in Capricorn on the 29th, 29th of December 2016. And I have shuffled, but just quickly shuffling. I'm only going to do very short readings. Three cards and one for general energies. Okay. Hey Libra, what's going on for you Libra? Okay, we've got the Four of Pentacles. We've got the Eight of Pentacles, very different energies with your sign I see Libra. Very different, Four of Swords and the General energy is the king of pentacles king of pentacles so we're looking at a very strong financial reading here um okay now something is happening with your finances i see that there is a lot of work being put in now if we are talking about love at all. Um, this is someone that is holding on very tightly. There is a lot of earth energy. Um, we've got a very strong king of pentacles here. Okay, um, the chair he's sitting on, the um, magnificent chair, it's got the color purple. Okay, um, it's the color of amethyst. Intuition, trust in your intuition. This earth sign could be a Taurus, could be a Virgo, could be a Capricorn. And this is the new moon in Capricorn, so that could be very, um, very important for you. There is, There has been a lot of work put in. If we are talking about financial, a financial situation, um, whatever you've been doing, Libra, is going to pay off. Okay, this king is holding this huge pentacle in his hands. He's all about stability, all about security. Security, and that is what uh, Capricorn is all about. A lot of hard work. You've got the Eight of Pentacles. So you are using your skills. Um, you are working away very skillfully. If we are talking about love, uh, someone is putting a lot of work into this relationship. But there is a feeling of time out. We've got the Four of Swords. So whatever uh, you've been dealing with, you've been working very hard towards, whether it be love, whether it be work, you know, business, um, or trying to manage your finances, things are looking good. With the King of Pentacles as the general energies, that is abundance galore. There is a lot of stability. This is the... Um, the king of stability, the king of financial and prosperity and abundance in, in all realms of life. But I think that you are taking time out. You need to um, either meditate or, you know, take time out. And it is that time of year, isn't it, I suppose, um, before you start on again. So you're working very strongly towards something. Now, as I said, if this is regarding a relationship, um, you're going to have to trust in your intuition, right? And whatever you perceive as being um, taking time out regarding your stability, I think there is an energy of work being done beneath the surface, okay? There is work being done beneath the surface. Now, um, we've got a 
the card of uh, this is an air sign right Libra this, this could be you Gemini or Aquarius um, I think you are trying to balance things out eight of Pentacles the eights are all about balance right and fours are all about our home and our stability you've got two fours and then you've got the eight in the middle which is quite significant all these add up to abundance let me look at the um, Sabilas there is a very important earth sign in your life if this is not your partner then this is someone who's going to be um, there to support you this is someone very supportive indeed this could be a boss okay could be a colleague but it's an entrepreneur it's someone in a high position now this is you you're flying you are flying take the time out that you need the time that is necessary so you can you know come back in the new year with a lot of um, oomph and a lot of strength now maybe at this time of the year you're being very careful with your finances you are concentrating on something something that you're trying to get to let me look at this king the agio okay some of you are wanting to go on a holiday uh, this is a card of movement you are moving whether it be business or whether it be pleasure you are taking time out Donna Maricata um, there is a very significant uh, feminine energy uh, which is a very loving and nurturing this card reminds me of the Empress okay so um, Taurus could be quite significant to you guys because it reminds me of the Empress and um, the Empress reminds me of Taurus because Taurus is ruled by Venus and so is Libra for that matter okay and Grand Signora this is like the King of Pentacles okay this is one very important person in your lives very important person um, abundance is coming into your life dance let me look at the four of swords I want to see no actually I will look at the four of Pentacles I want to see that more more importantly what are you holding on to something that's very close to your heart Alegria which is taking time out with friends enjoying having great times letting your hair down very happy card Casa this is home stability you are celebrating something that's very close to your heart Fortuna okay all right abundance now if we were feeling very um because this is the Mata card this is the card of not having enough right the will of fortune is bringing you the eight okay so if we are talking about love there is plenty plenty to go around okay very earthly sort of an energy so Capricorn is going to bless you Pluto is there okay and so is the Sun and the Sun is shining down on on you at this time of the month now Uranus as I've mentioned to other plan to other signs I'm sorry is just going forward now so the blessings are coming in looks like Uranus is going to be quite abundant for you okay we've got the will of fortune which is very common in these readings okay 2017 is supposed to be a new beginning two and a one and a seven make ten so we are beginning again very prosperous new year ahead for you Libra and uh, Jupiter is looking after you Jupiter is the Jupiter is the planet of abundance after all so my love to you all the new readings for January will be up early January Mercury in retrograde is affecting all of us and myself um, I do wish you have a wonderful New Year's Eve and I will be talking to you in the very near future beginning of January my love to you all bye for now Libra